today we're going to take a look at a player whose max power ever was 222 million and they actually got zeroed in the first like week or two of kvk like literally the first passes that opened that would lead to significant fighting they went offline and just got zeroed like right away like what I don't know how that happens and I do feel genuinely really bad because this is that's a that's a lot of power to lose okay now for the record I started spectating this player getting zeroed at around 129 million I don't think that this player actually started at 222 million but the fact that that was their max power ever means like they know what they're doing right they have five and a half billion kill points like this is a player that they're good at rise of kingdoms typically this is not like the level Level of mistake that you would expect from a player of this caliber and that's why we're going to be taking a look at it here on the channel today now I want to give a huge shout out to insane veteran I believe on YouTube he goes by rabbit gaming but he let me know that this rally was going on and he's actually one of the rally leads that hit this player's city the other day I was actually live streaming here on YouTube and he jumped in the chat and said hey a whale is getting zeroed and luckily I was able to jump over there and spectate the entire thing so shout out to him and also obviously kingdom 2570 for supporting the live stream while it was happening and for being the players that actually took down this well but also if you missed that live stream that means you're probably not subscribed to the channel so definitely go ahead and sub down below and consider turning on notifications so you don't miss my next live stream and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on this video if you want to see more videos like this where we go over big players getting zeroed I also post on my discord when I go live as well so if you're in there you should be good too okay so right off the bat you're gonna notice two things first of all he has the general title okay so his kingdom did actually know that this was happening and they did their best to give him as many stats as they could but I mean most of the players had already teleported out at that point there was really nothing else that this player's kingdom could have done really there might have been one thing and I'll try to go over that a little bit later but they gave him the general title that's the best they could do the other thing that you have to know notice is he's actually using the battle bloom city skin this is the latest zenith of power city skin so it's not like this player is like an inactive player like this skin just came out and in order to get it that means they probably just trained a bunch of troops in order to get this and then they just lost all of them but the other reason that I'm bringing this up is because the battles bloom skin gives you 15% cavalry health. Okay. So what you would expect from this city skin is a, well, hopefully a city full of cavalry. And also hopefully we have some sort of cavalry garrison on this player's wall and spoiler alert. That is not, that is not what happens. <laughs> Okay, so here we see the first rally coming in from Ashbourne right on the left there. And we see that this is an Attila. I think it's an Attila Takeda. If not, it's Attila Nevsky. And this player does, it's there's the Nevsky. This player does some insane damage to the city. Now, there were a bunch of different players that were actually rallying this guy. They were kind of jumping back and forth between different players to see who would actually get sort of the best results out of this city rally and we could see here that Ashbourne was definitely one of the ones that was doing a lot of work you can also see insane veteran uh right here his rallies hurt a ton as well and he's so close as soon as that rally launches it's connecting okay now one thing you'll notice is that the white numbers on the Attila Nevsky are actually pretty insane uh you would expect that obviously from an Attila but I mean, this is a big dude. This is a big player. Okay. 129 million. That's, that's pretty thick. All right. A lot of people don't even try to zero players this big because yes, you can do it, but it really does hurt. So kudos to kingdom 2570 for even taking this guy down. Uh, but also you'll notice, like I mentioned earlier, we don't see a Cav garrison. Uh, we see a Zenobia with YSS and honestly on its own that's a really good pair to use for a city defense because Zenobia really doesn't care that much about the troop types like sure obviously she would prefer to be you know all infantry but as far as like city defense goes she's pretty good right she's pretty good here you can see I'm shamelessly asking Ashbourne uh for the for the report here so that we, we can go over it on the live stream and luckily Ashbourne I think was also in the live chat when they realized that I was streaming 
I think they jumped over there. So it was great to be able to like communicate with these players uh, in real time, which was really, really awesome. But um, here you can see that there's just, there's a lot going on here. Okay. There's, there's a lot going on. There's a player up there from the HI 84 Alliance who is trying to, you know, do what they can to maybe distract or to, you know, to get players, maybe if they start fighting that dude, maybe they won't be uh, reinforcing the rally. Okay. And also if they have their army standing here fighting downwards, then a lot of these dudes who are hitting him might actually walk into the AOE of the city rallies YSS or the city garrison YSS. Right? So, I mean, kudos to them. They, they tried, they did what they could, but I mean, when you look at the field here, like the presence is wild, right? It's, it's very overwhelming. There's really not that much that like one or two other players could do. So yeah, that was the first rally. He went from 129 million to 123 million. And we're going to go over the reports in just a minute, but you're going to see here the insane veteran rally instantly connects as soon as it pops out of the city, uh, which is crazy. And here we have a Nevsky with Justinian. I believe that's what the second area is Nevsky. Yes. A Nevsky Justinian rally and 161 K on that skill shot. Absolutely insane. Just, oh my God, 187 brother, 187. Oh my goodness. There's 181 again. So absolutely just hitting him with tactical nukes from orbit. Okay. Uh, I really love the Nevsky Justinian rally combo here. I think it worked really, really well. And we'll take a look in the rally reports to see what's better for a city rally. Should you be using a, an Attila Takeda an Attila Nevsky or a Nevsky Justinian? Uh, there's plenty of different options that you have here. And you can see here just real quick, uh, this Saladin. Okay. Uh, some of these players are standing in the AOE of this YSS. So definitely, uh, something to take note of something that you definitely don't want to do, right? Like here you could see like, oh man, there goes the boom. Okay. There he is that, that, that Saladin running through there. Okay. Uh, I actually, I, I missed it. Maybe he didn't actually take that skill shot. I don't know. But regardless, a lot of these players are taking it. And here you could see the swarms start coming in on the backside. Uh, and I was trying to give some of these players a little bit of um, advice during this city rally. I would not, guys, I would not um, swarm down a city that's over 100 million. Like, unless you're like a mega whale, we could see he's still at 112, 113 million right uh the swarms here i don't think were really necessary i think that was probably quite expensive for a lot of those players especially when you see players um and like this dude he's hitting them all by himself he's just getting melted doesn't even realize it like r.i.p for that dude but like a lot of these players you'll see are swarming with like a tau tau for example right like that's not if you're using a tau tau in season of conquest then you probably aren't a whale right and in that case you probably shouldn't be swarming cities especially ones that are over 100 million 110 million right like definitely i can understand the desire to get this dude like zero to as fast as possible but probably wasn't the best strategic play uh in in the book right that that's just my opinion there, there i mean there, like i said this was the first pass that had opened so it's not like there was um really a rush to do this there's plenty of kvk ahead of them for them to get their kill points but again i do understand the excitement and it seems like they probably um perform pretty well in this zone right away so they're probably kill hungry right like they've been waiting for this moment and i i totally get it i've been there i've done that okay but just for you guys to know um if you're not a mid spender or a whale or anything like that um probably don't swarm cities okay probably don't leave that to the giga chad mega whales who uh who've got some money to lose okay and here we can see the first rally report from ashbourne this was the attila nevsky okay not the one that we we just saw and um, they said that this rally actually wasn't staying full now this could be because remember that player teleported in and they were trying to fight uh so there's probably some moments where it just wasn't full okay um and so that that makes sense here but i think this being the first rally that we're witnessing this is the one that traded the most evenly right 11 and a half million to 9.1 million they were still filling the hospital and they were at max power okay but you could still see even with the first rally um this player we lost 4.3 million on the rally side and 5.7 million on the garrison side uh now i don't believe that this battle report shows all of what this um the 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 player city got from the aoe from yss um i think that you have to see that from the defender's point of view if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong there but it does probably show up in the total kill points if i'm not mistaken i don't know regardless um it was a relatively even trade in favor of the rally for sure and we could take a look at the troop buffs here 
and you'll see that like the Zenobia YSS like isn't really that stocked guys it's really not and we also see no iconic equipment on this Zenobia okay um I think that this Zenobia might have been naked it may have just had nothing on it I mean like this is this is crazy these donuts across the board here okay and so again like what's the probability that a player whose max power was 222 million has no legendary pieces with iconic equipment the odds are I mean there's zero right there's zero so either this player was using a really bad set that was just leftovers or this was a naked Zenobia in which case not only is it not a cavalry pair which he probably should have been using based on his city skin but also like it didn't even have gear on it right like that's kind of crazy you know what I'm saying so that that was uh that was rough next we can take a look at the rally report from insane veteran and this was the Nevsky Justinian and here you could see that now the deads are piling up okay we have 193k deads on one side to 793k on the other side 15 and a half million kill points for the rally and 2.8 million kill points for the defender absolute destruction here okay so obviously more kill points on the side of the Nevsky Justinian than for the Nevsky with the Attila primary um so yeah but also this one may have been a little bit more full the entire time so that could also play a part there as well but so far the Nevsky Justinian seems like it was a better play next up we see Ashbourne coming in with an Attila Takeda and they also use the king skill on this dude so we're going from 112 million and we're going to see the how the Attila Takeda performs Attila Takeda for those of you that don't know um has historically been a really good city rally because the huge white numbers just seriously melt down those cities it's actually crazy um it's wild how long ago Attila and Takeda came out and they're still sometimes super relevant in scenarios like this for rallies right um so that just goes to show the power of these commanders and when they first came out they were basically game breaking like it was actually something we've never seen before uh and I love to see that you know we we still see it now um you see that Tronks dude just dropped some troops into the uh into the city to kind of reinforce his friends see if he can maybe help him out a little bit uh but really you know he's he's kind of hurting himself there I think but here we can see uh, some players jumping in, avoiding that uh, AOE right there, which is good. Hopping in and keeping that city rally full. Uh, and man, this is, it's not looking good. Okay. It's not looking good for the, uh, for this, for this whale. I jumped ahead a little bit. Cause this is actually one of the longer rallies that they had. And that's the thing about Attila Takeda is it's a slow burn, but boy, does it burn. And here you could see they're down to 104.8 million right there already. Uh, and at this point, because the, the bar is in the red, we see players jump in and they start the swarm. And again, I was telling them like, look at that. That's an El Cid right there. Like that's not probably a player who should be swarming in this scenario. Right. Um, and also the YSS is still shooting his AOE shots and you know, the AOE is going this way. So that Guan Yu's getting hit. I think that that El Cid probably is getting hit there too, uh, as well so yeah we see a Tao Tao right here who's also swarming and again again guys um you know when the player is over 100 million power they still have quite a few troops in their city and a lot of them are going to be tier five so you definitely you know I would say probably don't ever swarm down uh, a player city if they're over like 85 million I would say like that's probably uh that's probably not something you want to do but here we could see this is where the burn really starts coming in uh we have 1.1 million deads on the city side and half a million dead on the rally side we see 22.8 million kill points for the rally and 8.1 million kill points for the city garrison so this was by far the best report so far we saw the the, the Justinian rally had I think 15 million kill points so um Attila Takeda still is shining for these uh for these city rallies it's actually kind of crazy okay it's actually kind of crazy and here you can see Kel sauce coming in with a Henry Nevsky rally and I was confused for a moment uh but then they told me in the chat that this was one of the KBKs where you actually can take up one of your accessory slots in your equipment to change the troop type of the commanders in that army to whatever it is that you want so this is an all archer rally and the Nevsky is providing archer buffs so this is a really interesting use for Nevsky obviously Nevsky is always God tier um so the fact that so the fact that this Kale sauce player was experimenting with this strategy is super cool and obviously this is a really powerful player okay 8.6 billion kill points like this dude knows what he's doing okay so here we can see the Henry Nevsky popping off 
uh, and we're down to 96 million already also the Kelsos player up here giving the health debuff to the city from his CPO and the Trajan to buff his rally if you guys didn't know um the Trajan buffs will prioritize your own armies and since he's nearby um he is perfectly positioned to basically not take the AoE from the YSS so this is the definition of a player who probably should be swarming a city okay uh 100 million power tons of kill points he knows what he's doing we have the uh Kelsos rally right here this was 13 million kill points on the rally side to 2.6 on the defender side 154,000 deads for the rally 650k for the garrison and he did cancel it early I think perhaps they just weren't keeping it full with the archers uh, or players maybe didn't realize that they should be putting out archers okay so this was the player city at that time and you could see that they have a pretty even breakdown of calves uh archers and infantry they actually have more archers than anything and in fact that goes against completely uh what you would expect from their city skin they have a city skin for cavalry so huge mistake there on their part unfortunately but they are down to 91.8 million we see basically at this point they're committed to the Attila Takeda rallies and they're just going to slow burn this dude to the ground Ashbourne's second rally here brings this player down to I believe about 81 million before we see that insane veteran rally with his Attila Takeda as well there's the 81 million you see a little bit of swarm there as well uh so pretty crazy stuff here this is the insane veteran uh Nevsky gear so absolute giga chad right here like super good stuff okay this is the rally we just saw the Ashbourne until it's Takeda we have 19.7 million kill points on one side and we have the 5.1 million kill points on the other side about a million dead to 318,000. so this dude is really not having a good day okay and here we see the gear from Kel sauce on his Henry Nevsky rally um absolutely giga chad I mean my god is that a beautiful set and this is the gear on Ashbourne's Attila so if you're wondering like how are these players popping off so hard this is how and that brings us to insane veterans next rally this is the Attila Takeda and well you could see how that went he's down to 72 million and for those of you that don't know typically around like 57 million 56 million around there is when a player is zeroed maybe it's a little bit lower depending on how many commanders they have and their tech and all that stuff but here we see Ashbourne coming in with yet another Attila and Takeda and you know how this is going to end guys it's just going to be back to back to back until it Takeda rallies until this dude is zeroed he's at 71 million right now and if we jump ahead just a moment you'll see that they start swarming again and this dude should not be swarming okay like I know he's debuffing with that Richard but like you probably shouldn't be swarming bro like that's not that's not it and at this point I think all the whales in the, in their kingdom were just like all right we like let's just let's just get him down okay um he's at 63 million I was telling them that they probably should just do one more rally uh to get him down because it's still gonna hurt a lot to be swarming down a city like this especially when you're like in the red or if you're in the yellow um like what what is this here look at this I zoomed in that's that's a Caesar as a secondary right like probably not the type of player that should be uh, I mean unless I'm missing something it seems like that's not who should be swarming down a city um but at least they're doing it when he's at you know 63 million instead of 110 million so that is that um here we see a little bit of the gear that is being shown off by these players because they were just excited to be on the live stream and I mean they really have uh some insane rally players uh, in this in this kingdom so they really did pop off here and they're still swarming they're still going uh, and you could see that he's down to 61 now so like it's the swarms are pretty slow and that's why I was telling them like you you probably should hit, you should launch another rally you probably shouldn't try to swarm this down uh especially like when those players are in yellow for those of you that don't know the sev wounds that you take in a rally scenario or in in a scenario like this your sev wounds go up exponentially as your health bar goes down so most of the sev wounds that you take are below the 50 percent and especially below like the 30 percent or 25 percent mark like that's when you're taking a majority of your sub wounds and so if you're swarming a city or a flag or a fort uh as soon as you hit yellow you probably should dip out okay you're, you're really gonna start to take a horrible trade at that point uh you should dip out refresh your army come back and continue swarming if you want to a lot of these players obviously don't know that or they don't care because they're whales and if so then it is what it is that's fine with them uh whales can do whale things if they want to but yeah they are committed to this uh to this city swarm and I think if we fast forward a little bit 
I think we do see one more rally come in if I'm not mistaken actually I was wrong they just swarmed him down to 59.4 million and here is the scout report you could see that uh it's it's zero there's no reinforcements there's no there's 500 watchtower health uh, and they have no more resources as well so this player is officially zeroed. I think this was the final rally that they did from Ashbourne, the Attila Takeda hitting uh, 12 million kill points here to the 2 million kill points on the other side, 118k deads for the rally, 600k deads for the city. And that's pretty much it. That's how a whale gets zeroed in the first like week or two of KVK fighting. And that just goes to show that like you're really never safe in KVK. All right. The, the fighting might have just started, but like it could it, it could be your last day. You never know. So always, always, always teleport away from the front lines. If you're going offline during fighting, always do that. It's always the best strategy. Now, I think somebody mentioned um, that technically the one of the allied kingdoms of the player getting rallied could have I think exiled him as a player to kind of force him to teleport out but that's pretty much the only thing that they could have tried to do and that's if they had the exile skill available I haven't done that myself I haven't seen that done so I don't know you know what that looks like what the nuance is there um that could have saved him potentially if that was an option that was available but I suspect that they probably did try everything that they could and also there's something to be said about a player that strong getting zeroed so early it's like you know how how much uh how much like they know better okay that's kind of their own fault at that point but either way RIP to that player city uh honestly I I enjoy making videos like this but also you know for the player that did get rallied if you do watch this and you understand English it does suck I know it sucks and uh, you know I hope that you know I'm not making fun of you or anything like that I got zeroed you could check out on my channel it happens to the best of us okay and the best thing to do if you get zeroed is don't give up don't quit and remember you keep all your gear you keep all your equipment your commanders your armaments everything that's important you keep all of that okay yes you have to build back up your troops which sucks but uh at least you keep a lot of the good progress on your account and just make sure teleport to safety anyway guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and comments down below have you been zeroed what do you think this player should have done if they were actually online let me know in the comment section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace